Playing aggro warrior against uh, a warlock. You don't know what warlock though. Um, mm, if it's even, all of these cards are broken. But the thing is, a lot of the time it's not even lock, which makes this hand kind of mediocre sometimes. I think I'm gonna keep the flurry because if we tank up twice with our aggro deck, then we can deal eight damage to all of his minions, which will clear a lot of stuff. Turned our curse Even lock and I mulligan. Two good cards against that None matchup. And he's on coin. And he kept two cards. Okay, well, at least we can hope that he thinks we're playing Pirate Warrior. I'm gonna press the Tanka button. I feel like Deathlord is not very good against a deck that runs a bunch of 8-8s. Thoughts? So I'm going to armor up again. Next turn, my opponent is going to play a 3 mana 8 8, and I'm going to cry and probably reckless flurry it. Coin, Twilight Drake, oh my god. Insane play. Look at this guy. Okay. I figured out the real game plan. We play the Death Lord. Okay. We tell him death does not scare us, so we're ready to go for the long game, if you know what I'm saying. Then next turn. Okay, this is where it gets really spicy. We bait him to play more stuff, we tank up, then we play another Death Lord, okay? And what we're really waiting to do is Reckless Flurry his entire board. Remove it all with one 3 mana card. He clears this, Faceless Shambler, second Twilight Drake, never the 8-8. Or if the 8-8 comes out, he develops an 8-8, so he's overextended, and then we just poof, explode the entire board. Honestly, makes so much sense. I will pull Doomsayer, yeah, or Shambler, one of the two guys. You guys are smart. Collider. This is a good comment here. Collider is pretty aggressive. Three damage, five mana is pretty sick. Yeah, it's good. Hey, it's a it's a really good aggro card. Thing is, a lot of people aren't aggro masters, so they can't tell that. Just gonna armor up and play the death forward, and then uh, I'm not gonna bonk him. I think I I don't ever win by going face against the stack and activating his uh, his big cards. I need to make him tap a lot, so then he fatigues himself. I feel like this matchup should actually not be that bad. If I kept that opening hand that I had with Brawl and the, the Super Collider, it'd be so free, it's not even funny. Like, this guy would just be crying right now. I'd just be sitting here pressing this button, and he wouldn't be doing anything. Your magic oh my gosh, double Spellbreaker, this madman. Holy, look at this guy. Insane. Not one, but two. Crazy play. Absolutely crazy play. Look at that. Double Spellbreaker on the Death Lords. Wow. You know what that tells me? He doesn't think he's good enough to pull 80s out of his deck. This curse has become our greatest strength. Let's play the really broken card that makes this deck actually playable. I could go on rants for hours about how dumb this card is, but Dynomatic? Holy man. This card is just... Oh, it is... Ugh. Cool. It is, uh, ooh, uh, whew. Strong. Like, if this if this were on, the, like, the same level of Corcoran Elite, it would be, like, a 6-3. That's how good this card is. It's just a dumb. Okay, he's, he's self-damaging. It's not good. Self-harm is bad. Don't do that. Good thing he heals himself up, too, so it kind of, like, evens out, but it's still not really good, and I don't really condone it. Uh, let's play Stonehill first to get a big card. Uh, this isn't a big card, but sure. We really didn't get what we wanted out of that Stonehill. Do you have to run Azalina and Odd Warrior? Um, I don't think you have to. It's good against, like, Kingsman robes. But I wouldn't say that it's necessary to run now. I think in a lot of matchups, it's just dead. And, like, the reason I'm not running it is because, like, I want to run other cards that I think are interesting, like Tink Master. You can, like, I think you can consider, like, the second Omega Assembly, like, another one of those two. Because it's just, like, a, a pile of threats, basically. I'll just probably tap, probably tap, play a 7-7 seven, seven spell on this. Or maybe just ignore it, I don't know. But I think that he plays a 7-7 seven, seven this turn. 
No. Oh my god, the Black Knight value. Holy, look at that mirror tech card. That's absolutely insane. Who would have suspected that he would do that? Oh, is this is this an opportunity to overdraw my opponent? I can make him overdraw two cards. See you later, alligator. My hey, see you later, hook reader. In a while, crocodile. Yeah, that's right. See you later, buddy. Have a good one. Enjoy your vacation. Bye, shrimp brew. See you later, guys. Two threats I don't have to deal with. This is a very good piece of removal this game. Wow. Like an obscenely good piece of removal. Hi from Bulgaria. Hello from Canada, my friend. Hello. Welcome to Canada. Or I guess you're not in Canada, but hello nonetheless, my friends. Well, I see a prime opportunity to dynamatic his board here. Let's uh let's do that. And then let's play Stonehill Defender to discover another cool card. Or we could play Omega Assembly. I think we want a stone. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, the thing is, sometimes I won't get a mech that's less than four, and I would I'd like to guarantee the armor up, so I think I'm just going to hold it. Um, if we play Dr. Boom, which we're most likely not going to, this is good. But I think we just take the Booty Bay Bodyguard. I don't think you run Geist to, to tech against Jade Druids when you're playing even lock. That doesn't really make any sense. Like, Evenlock is a tempo-oriented, very fast deck. You don't really run cards that uh, remove your opponent's possibility of playing in an inevitable game where they always win. Uh, so I can push 6 here? No more. Can Faceless? BGH. That is a gangster turn. How do you guys feel about the classic? Uh, I guess we, we want to shield this on, right? Because it's just cheaper. So we can armor up again. We just BG each one, and we armor up. We shield slam, and we go base. We start going face next, it's very low, it makes sense now. Uh, I actually could have played an Omega assembly there because I have, I would have had six cards in my hand, then gained. I have seven right now, right? So discard one, which is the Omega assembly, gain three, so it'd be a nine. Time with the draw. Could have been a good play. When is the wild tournament? I'm hosting a tournament this Saturday at 6 p.m. PST. Feel free to uh, sign up! Exclamation mark tournament. Check it out. You guys are watching on YouTube. Uh, exclamation mark tournament. Check out my Twitter. Link will be there pinned. Or in the description of the video. If, it, if this game is on YouTube, then I'll put it in the comment section if you're interested. Yeah, my, my Twitter is there as well. I don't think I've ever really had a game that I've felt is this easy with an aggro warrior deck before, though. Like, I feel like I can just deal with every threat that he puts out so simply. Um, yeah, this is a removal card. Let's uh, Omega Assembly first, uh, just to see what we get. Yeah, none of them are that great. It's okay. Let's play the Micro Machine. Oh no, 5-5. Five, five. It's Micro Machine on no, no. It's fine. So the mechs get a lot better after Dr. Boom, but I don't think I really want to do that, because I think cards like Shield Song and Reckless Foyer are still really important to have up. And I don't think the added value that I get from the Dr. Boom Hero Power is going to be very relevant. Because what I have to beat right now is two Mountain Giants, a Faceless Shambler, some little cards, and a Twilight Drake. So, I don't think it's going to be really the most difficult game ever. Seven. It's a Wild Cube Warlock right now good against Priest. No. Uh, Q lock is very bad against Priest because in order for you to do anything against Priest, what has to happen is... Sorry, give me one second. Uh, I'm gonna shield block. Super Collider is good for next turn. Let's screw Jank your tank up and it's right there to get rid of the taunts. Um, so I think the Q block is pretty get bad against Priest because Psychic Scream is really ridiculous against the deck with the cubes. You're forced to have an activator. It's not like the worst deck ever because you can still win with skull and stuff, but it's just that a lot of the ways that you get started uh, don't really activate early against like big priest, for example. Reno priest, you're gonna have a more uh, more of a fun time against them, but uh, anything is possible. It's not like the still worst matchup in the entire world, right? Q 
fucking BG Ancient and Super Collider here. Like, oh man, this is just such a simple game. This hero power, like, the, the upgraded hero powers from the beginning of the game are honestly just so broken, it's not even funny. Like, this is honestly one of the easiest ones of Hearthstone I've, I would say I've almost ever had. Sasha Hyena. It's an engaging username. Uh, it's not the same as the last opponent. So Thingmaster should be good against most Warlocks because of Voidcaller. Uh, actually, I should just say that it should be good against all Warlocks. I'm going to just keep Reckless Flurry and Overspark because I think Flurry is good in all matchups and Overspark is good in all matchups too. Super Collider and Brawl are both only really good against um, Even. could argue this is good against Cube too. You're probably right about that. I find Super Collider harder to make an argument for unless your opponent's playing just like big stuff that you can attack and clear two minions, but... I, I've only queued into Even Locks this morning, so... Or this evening, sorry, so maybe it is one. Nope, okay. Thoughts on the side boarding in Hearthstone? Too complicated. Hearthstone's a mobile game, it won't ever happen. Could be interesting though. I think the tech cards in Hearthstone are relatively unhealthy for what the game is, so I personally wouldn't like to see it. Like, oh, you queue into Pirate Warrior, what do you do? Well, quite simply, just sideboard Galactic Crawlers and you're gonna win. It's not very interesting and wouldn't add much to the gameplay. You are beautiful, thank you. I'm sure you are beautiful as well. Got ooze for his skull if he's playing cube, which is wonderful. Really, really good draw there. Superb. Death does not scare me. Okay, so probably Reno based on that. It's fine. I think Overspark is the worst against Reno Lock, uh, but it's still okay. You don't have to do anything, just hero power. This game is going to be a lot different than the last one because this deck actually has a, an obscene amount of value in it. They'll have to utilize uh, Dr. Boom and a bunch of the good mechs that we have in the deck and can get from Omega Assembly to win, I think. The hero power should also be pretty good. I wonder if it's even right to take this. Like, there is the gain 7 armor hero power, but there are also a lot of other ones that aren't about gaining armor. The ones that deal damage are okay, they're not great. Um, probably want to shield block, I don't want to shield some of 4-5. Uh, I could hero power reckless flurry. Seems fine. There's some stuff. Again, the course is good. I don't want to brawl that board. Brawl seems pretty weak. I don't really want to pull a minion from my deck either. I don't want to lose cold light. I don't want to lose PGHs. And I don't want to lose faceless. The other cards aren't really that relevant. You can barely hear me. Sorry, man, it's pretty late. I don't want to talk too loud. Hopefully that's understandable. Um, I think we're going to bash first, see what we get. Pretty lucky pull. Uh, I think I would prefer to just tank up over playing uh, the Stone Hill. Kind of surprised I'm not autopiloting yet. Why? I hope Zeddy's asleep already. Because I was like, I was playing this so he could fall asleep, basically. So I'm hoping that he's falling asleep. Uh, Super Collider is not bad here. It's also not really that great, but it does stuff. Like, it's sort of just whatever. A card that does things. Bonk steals some damage, clears a Belcher. I'll take it. Gluttonous Ooze, oh my god. Well, what do we do, guys? We play Gluttonous Ooze. Uh, I don't want to call it yet. So i probably just do this and play whatever time I get. So awkward to deal with, holy shit. Um, a 2-14? Like, what are you doing to do a 2-14? I guess you play a Void Lord, right? Void Lord's pretty good into 2-18. Yeah, it sort of makes sense. Let's just pick this instead. This card does stuff. Taz Dingo. You guys remember when Taz Dingo was a really good card? Sunjin, Shield Master, Chill Man Yeti. Simple times. Ooh. M3 
Emperor Thorsa. What dank combo am I gonna get uh, destroyed by today? Oh, I can do that. It's actually not very good for my deck, so I'm not going to, but I could. Um, should brawl. I want this alive because it's a good outcome. I have like one, two, three good outcomes, really. Yeah. Let's see what's up. Cool. Don't come. Uh, let's overdraw him one and then just coin here power. It's a pretty relevant overdraw, I'd say. My hand is too That's not that great. Uh, Goldan's a little bit broken, though. Uh, the, the only worry for me is if he's playing Thorson, he's probably playing some weird combo. Uh, which is not good. Brand Gnome, Zola, Gnome, Gnome. Kind of just beats me still, so. Sort of up in the air. I wonder. Usually the rank 300 green locks aren't really that good. Let's see me play some discard demon lock from a year ago. I actually played that very recently, man. Uh, I played it at the very start of this expansion, actually. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do this here. Because this is like one of the only good cards you can get back from the Zoth now. Yeah. Good Tink Master. I could have also just faced the side if I didn't have Tink Master, but I think this is a lot better just removing it from uh, his pool of potential plays. He shouldn't have more weapon removal, but I don't really want to just jam this. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, uh, it's a really good Tink Master, actually. It's kind of funny. You think this card's just terrible, but it makes a lot of sense in this specific deck. Because it's really reactive, right? You guys like my funny tweet, by the way? Check this out. If you guys have seen the shaking meme on Twitter, I decided to do, like, Big Priest, Even Shaman Shake, making Ladder Boring. Haha, I'm funny, I know. Uh, interesting use of Godfrey. I will Can't say that's the best use of Godfrey that I've seen so far, but it's okay. Odd Warrior is interesting because it's one of the decks that actually makes an, a decent use of Baku. I've got the beast in my side. The, the big game has been hunted. What do we do? Let's make him fatigue a little bit faster. Play Zoyax and Bonky. Zoyax might have been a good card to hold going into fatigue because we could have just continuously um, just like had it up, and if you didn't have removal for it, just healed for three turn. So that could have been good. But uh, without Goldan, he doesn't really have a shot in fatigue, to be honest, so I don't think it really matters. Is Boom really relevant in this deck? Uh, yeah. I just don't really need to play him, that's all. So I'm not, because I just don't see a reason why I need to get upgraded here. power of my armor is so good. Like, this game's clearly moving towards fatigue. Uh, I need armor to be able to use stuff like Shield Slam, so... Flurry as well, because once I Flurry, I'm not going to have armor anymore. Again, there is an option to gain armor from Dr. Boom Mad Genius, but I don't really want to use it. I think it's that strong. How does Odd Warrior do against Big Priest? Uh, I would assume fairly fine. It could be a really bad matchup, it's just like, depending on Panos, right? Dynamatics could against a 2 and 6 play, because you just like deal 5 damage to the minion and it dies. Oh, I'm not going to shield sell my own card. I think I'm just going to play Boom now. i use my new hero power too. I feel like I have enough armor. It really contradicts what I just said, but I think it's fine to do this. Uh, yikes, I want to do that, but I don't want to... Overdraw. Um, what my deck matters? Uh, a lot of stuff matters. Yeah, it's not worth it. Definitely not worth it. That's fine. Snap's okay. It's more aggressive, which is nice. I'm not like the best odd warrior player in the world, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm just starting to play this deck, but it, I assume it just plays like the exact same as Control Warrior. So. It means that um, I have played quite a few Control Warrior games. Uh, obviously, this is an aggro version, right? We're playing aggro warrior right now, but. This is something. Doesn't get Boiler back off that. Kinda of funny. So, some big cards. Let's pull a minion from his deck. Do you want to face the slot first? 
Maybe he doesn't have minions left. Let's just check first. So he does have minions left in his deck. Uh, I think I'm gonna ding 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 now. I feel like that probably makes the most sense here. I don't think I need a flurry yet. I think I would prefer to ding ding ding. Really wish Super Collider would clear that. Um, is there anything that I can do instead of BGH? Like Hero Power. I can't Super Collide if I Hero Power, which is a problem. Oh, I love that use thing. I greet you. Interested in just straight up treating it, but maybe I should because if I do, then I can play the second one next week. I like that. Armor's nice. Oh, well, it's my second brawl, but I still have a flurry for AoE, and he doesn't really have any good ways of developing a lot of minions at once now. Zakis is fine. Is off Zola? Yeah, he could do that. If he has Zola, that's probably what he's gonna do here, too. You're right. I could have played around that. Deal 5k and 7, okay, he didn't have it. So he either doesn't run Zola or it's bottom 7. Uh, but yeah, I for sure could have just got punished really heavily. You're not wrong. So no, and at this point I should be playing around something like that. Uh, let's pick this. Super collide here so it dies and just stop that. Um, it's not about playing the second one next turn because it doesn't target max. So it's in case he removed my Dynomatic, I would want to be able to have the three damage dealt already. I know my Dynomatic next turn would have Rush, but I don't think it's really relevant. I would rather have the damage on that specific minion so and then potentially trade into something else. Is what I was thinking with it. Uh, did he just another AOE? Nice, cool. Good game. Let's concede. Sweet. My deck still has so much more value too. Like we have two Omega Assembly stuff, which is absolutely insane. Maybe that in pass. Maybe use Mecha Thune. Would you play Reno Mecha Thune? Huh. Eh. Okay. This is not looking like Mecha Thune. That's some brand. Infinite. Okay. Cool. Uh, so I have to somehow win now. Interesting. So we're the banker. Okay, he's got an infinite combo. Okay, that's a lot of cards in a stack. Uh, so how do we win now? Omega Assembly to the rescue. So he still has Reno and he's not fatiguing for a long time. Maybe do this and see where things go. Shift hero power here first. Like the music. It's moderately unlucky. Because now Super Collider does nothing. Um... Okay, so now I need to develop a board that does stuff pretty fast. But like, we're fine because we can just hit him in the face now. So that should be good. He has to draw his whole deck for Reno to work. So we should still be fine. I'm just kind of confused about what other cards he has that actually do things. Because like, it's cool if he has this combo, but... Okay, well if he... It's not my Omega Assembly, please. Uh, Omega Assembly would be bad to lose. Really, really bad. I might actually lose if I lose Omega Assembly. Corruptly messed up. Okay. Um, that is a big card. Um, I don't want to strap that onto my card though, is the thing, because then it'll just get removed. Um, let's do this and then this. Send all these to his noggin and then pass. 
Uh, so the Juggernaut should hopefully be broken in this game. I can... Uh, I wish I could faceless his Bran and then play Juggernaut. I can't, but that would be really cool if I could. That would be so cool. Um, but that was a really, really good outcome from Omega Assembly. We're gonna be rich. Reno is not active, so he's gonna shuffle a Reno in his deck now, I think. It's, okay, he's gonna put one in his hand. Uh, I cannot play both of these next turn. I have 8 damage, so I could just do this and potentially win next turn. Potentially. 1 out of the 4 times I win. I think we probably go for the 1 out of 4 win. I like that. cards in my hand. I really shouldn't have armored up. I should have done this first. Because uh, if we're fatiguing, it doesn't matter if I have my hand is full or not. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, then we'll hit base again. Okay. So now uh, we just win the game because we get the bomb. Cool. GG. Yeah. Iron Juggernaut, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Alright. That's a good game. <laughs> nice infinite combo, man.